Hey all and welcome back. So, as some of you know, I have a third gen swap here in the all track, and uh, it's not, it's somewhat straightforward. Uh, I was able to use 185 harness um, and repin some stuff, swatch up some sensors and whatnot, and use the original harness on the third gen engine. Now, um, one of the things that came out, we don't have a lot of options to data log off the, actually there's none, to data log off the factory ECU. There's all these OBD2 options, uh, but OBD1 didn't have anything, and so one of the members uh, up in Canada had come up with a device that does exactly that. Um, so the way this is, is it, it links to the ECU, 92 and up, 3SGTs have it, and a variety of other Toyota engines have it, um, but OBD1 actually outputs data from the ECU. Um, and so we're able to use this, it's a Bluetooth, it emits Bluetooth signal, you hook it up with an Android device, uh, which I actually had to get just for this because I, I worked with uh, iOS development, but I don't have, I never had any Android stuff before. And so I got an Android device, and you're able to link up with it and take some data. So there's a couple ways you can do this. See it has these pins on here? They're actually designed to be able to go in the diagnostics ports uh, in here. And this is an option, and I could have quickly hooked it up and do it. Uh, but the problem is, so these pins are supposed to design, they're designed to fit fairly tight. However, if you have any movement, say I wanted day log while I was driving or something, and something had pulled the pin uh, and caused an arc, that could cause me some electrical problems. To avoid all that, I'm going to directly wire it in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and wire it into a patch harness I have on the ECU, and then we'll start doing some testing with it and see exactly what it does. So as you can see here, I've got everything installed. And... Uh, it isn't the prettiest looking setup right now. I did go through, um, I used a patch harness to hook it up, and I cleaned up things quite a bit. Um, I, before I put all this back in, I do want to do more, uh, a little bit more wiring work and a few more installs. But for now, just for running tests, everything's secure. Um, I, before I make a bracket for this, I just have everything zip tied here so it stays put. But what, I, what I'm done is we've done some tests with uh, idle driving conditions, as well as doing tests during an autocross. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and start up the car and then we can look at the system, the interface for the application and show you exactly how it works. Now I bought this tablet just for doing this. Um, I had some airline miles, I, I changed them in and I got this tablet that probably wouldn't worth like $100 or whatever. Um, I would suggest getting a good model of whatever it is used, whether it be your phone or a tablet, this will eventually get a full install once I make some sort of mounting system for it. Um, but the way the interface is, you want something that's going to have a decent backlight as well as just an overall quality device. Um, I am still an iOS user for the most part since that's the development I worked in for such a long time, uh, but I will be using this just for this particular function. Um, and so, what we'll do start the car okay now the car's on there's actually a red blinking light on the uh, OBD uh, reader so it's indicating that it is on but the application here uses the tech logo so go ahead and launch that and you can see it's actually already working um, I, I, I have to kind of get the hang of Android setups just because I'm used to relying on the single button. I'll try to keep this in your view where it's easy to see. Okay, so when it flashes like that, it means it's taking a reading. So per every flash, you're getting a reading. And these are the displays that I've selected to use. And I believe I, this is the majority of them, um, of what your options are. But it shows you your ignition, uh, IEC, RPM, speed, oxygen sensor, all these things, um, and each time it flashes, I guess it's, that's when it's actually pulling data from the ECU. So it's literally logging the data from the ECU that it's reading from the factory sensors. So the interesting thing would be to compare this data with if you have aftermarket gauges or anything. And I do have a wide bed O2 sensor, um, however, I have to read it through a PC uh, because I do not have the, the external gauge for it. But that's the solution I'll mess with later down the road. So, I secured this uh, when I ran with it. 
during autocross and it was able to, and you can actually click on these to expand them if you're just wanting to focus on watching one thing. Um, and I believe there's other modes here. Oh, so I'm still getting used to the interface. Um, with more time, I, it'll be less of an issue, I suppose. So, I've lost connection with, oh, there it goes, it's reconnected. Um, so, device features, that stops and starts the logging. So that stopped it, so it shouldn't be, since it's not flashing anymore, it's no longer collecting that data, but it's still reading that data. Um, choose de device, which it's set, it's set to do automatically. Um, configuration, that's where you would select your engine, as well as uh, display configuration. Gives you an idea of how much fuel you're using. Um, and then manage data is where you would export your logs. And then you can use Excel, and there's probably other programs as well, uh, where you can read the file and then go through the log and see what's going on. One other thing to note about this, so he's, in, he's made another way to visualize the data. Um, I like this method where it's just a number, done. However, he actually has a little gauge mode on here as well uh, that some people might prefer. See if I can get it to where the sun allows you guys to see it better. And that's, that's one thing I mentioned about getting a better device. Mine has a lot of glare issues, and you might find a, a device that works better. Um, but it just has to make sure it has Bluetooth. So Now, comparing to my factory gauges and the speedo and everything, it seems like it's spot on, at least reading with the other dials that I can compare it to. Um, the other thing to note, so we, we've looked at some logs I pulled from uh, the driving experiences and then from the autocross, and it looks like I am having some sort of um, rich issues, which I was aware of, and that's part of the reason I, I got this item, uh, or got this device, because I get like 17 miles per gallon, um, 17 to 19, depending on how I drive in my math, because uh, I'll run it to empty and I'll do a calculation. And this says I get about 17 and a half. So it seems like I've been pretty close to my estimates. Um, but from what we're seeing, I don't know what's wrong. I have no error codes. We do know that there is something in the system creating uh, a problem where it's overfueling. Um, it runs fine as is, and I can continue to drive it this way. However, I think it's better to correct it. And that's the same reason, I mean, that's the reason I wanted this, because this is a swamp. It was all an experiment based off of the research we had done and other people's experience on doing swaps. And I was able to get something that runs well. However, I think to make it perfect, um, I'll need to sort it out. And what some guesses could be is that my O2 sensor isn't up to snuff. So I'm probably gonna do some tests on it. And if that tests poorly, I'll replace it. Um, there could also be an issue with my THM sensor uh, in the manifold. I, what I want to check is the uh, voltage and everything across the wiring. Make sure, because I didn't use, I used a 185 harness. So the wire I used, I believe, might have been for the Tevis or something. So its draw or junction or something could cause an issue with how the data is coming through from the sensor to the ECU. So saying all that, I don't have any current solutions. What I have now is data to try to find solutions to perfect my swap. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this down a little bit better uh, in the written blog. I'll post a link below in the description. So, and I'll also post a link to his forum and where to get this device. Um, so if you guys are interested in it, it's something you definitely could check out as well. But uh, I'll go into a little bit more. I'll post my logs. I'll post sort of the analysis that we kind of have of my logs some ideas of what we're gonna go. And then later down the road, as I get more time, I'm gonna do some testing, swap out some sensors possibly, uh, try to figure out exactly what's causing this overfueling and hopefully resolve it. Maybe get some better fuel economy, maybe be faster due to leaning out to a proper ratio. I don't know. So anyway, I'll keep you all posted on that. Make sure you read the blog in the description and uh, thanks for checking out and we'll see you guys next time. So take care.